Hey beer tubers! This month, Firestone & Walker Brewing Company is going to be releasing their very famous and well-known Parabola Imperial Stout. And to celebrate that, I decided to crack open a little beer for myself here. And sure enough, it's the Parabola Imperial Stout. Now, you're like, Winton, how the heck did you get this beer already because it's supposed to be released this month, right? Well, just to tell you, this is actually from my cellar. If you look at the corner right there, I wrote down 2012. This already has a year of age on it, so it's going to be a little bit more smooth and the flavor is going to be a little more blended together compared to a fresh bottle. Now, a little bit about the Parabola Imperial Stout, if you guys don't know, uh, this is basically a blend of a variety of their strong ales that they've been making ever since the beginning, and they're aged in a variety of barrels. And they range from uh, the American Whiskey Barrel, to Wine Barrels, to their Firestone Union Barrel. And so I'm really excited to try this and open it up, so let me go ahead and do that, and I'll show you guys how it is. Alright, just like I did with the Sukaba. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen my Sukaba review, which is their barley wine, that's why they have a similar box and, and things like that, so I, I do recommend you checking it out because, oh boy, that barley wine was so sexy. <laughs> Just like the Sukaba, it has this fancy plastic cover, it doesn't have the candle wax all over it, so it's easy to open up. And let's see how it is with a year of age on it. So. As we see in the glass right here, it's got quite a bit of carbonation that's just kind of just lingering around the, uh, the, the sides of the glass and yeah, quite a bit all around. Uh, so I mean it's actually kind of hard to see the color of the beer because of that. So let me go ahead and check the aroma on the Parabola. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mmm. Man, I definitely get a good, good amount of bourbon in this. Bourbon, charcoal, cigar. It's, it's almost got, this one almost got sort of a, yeah, sort of a meaty smell to it, which is weird. It's like a, in a Roush beer, you know, uh, that kind of like smoky beer. No, I'm, I'm really not playing around. Like a lot of you are like, really? I never got that from Problem. Me neither. I've never had that, but on this one, I, I definitely do. Buttery, hmm. Well, anyways, that's what I'm getting. Definitely the roasted malts. You get all the stout character, the bourbons there, and some of these little oddities that I'm not used to having in a parabola, like the butter and the meat. So let me go ahead and give the parabola a try here. Come by. Hmm. Right. So right off the bat, you get hit with bourbon and vanilla, and uh, kind of have this buttery texture. So almost. Seems like you're tasting butter, but it's not. Um, and then I, I get quite a bit of heat in this, which I, I'm, I'm surprised, because, uh, I mean, usually it's about the same amount, but uh, the amount of heat that I'm getting from this bottle right now uh, is like how, you, how much you would get when you get a fresh bottle. So this means that even a year is not really enough for the alcohol to chill out. At least the 2012 that I'm drinking, uh, that's the case. Uh, and then after the heat, you start getting the taste of the, the malts. You get the sweetness that kind of lingers on, kind of almost sticky uh, kind of taste, uh, or the, the stickiness from the sweetness. Uh, uh, and then uh, you get the roasted malts, for sure, because it's a stout. Um, and then you get more of the alcohol, like it definitely kind of lingers on. It's, it's a pretty hot beer, for sure. And also in this batch, I'm getting a little bit of the cigar in the aroma, but not so much in the taste. I don't get too much charcoaly, roasty character I mean, except t till the end. Uh, the end, you have a little bit of that bitter, charcoaly taste, but usually in the, even in some older batches, uh, that you get more of that. I've had this beer, like, I'm pretty familiar with this beer for a beer enthusiast, uh, because I've had it fresh every single year, uh, as well as when it was aged up to two and a half years. And, like, this one has just been kind of uh, all right, but I'm just being honest, uh, but I'm also being honest of my past experiences, just knowing how good this beer is. I've told you some of the tasting notes, how great the taste is, uh, how great, just how complex it is, and just the, the blending is just awesome, uh, as well as some of the more uh, lesser appealing characteristics in it. So considering that, uh, at least with this bottle, uh, I give it an A-, minus. Um, but uh, just just to let you know, I've had it before as well plenty of times, and it's easily an A-plus beer. So. 
Um, if some of you really picky folks that are like, oh, it's only A minus, you know, <laughs> if you're like that, then don't worry, this is an A plus beer for sure. So, anyways, this was the Firestone Walkers Parabola. This is the 2012 bottle, and this is my bottle and my thoughts on it. And thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next beer blog. Come by. And remember, it's not Parabola, it's Parabola.